In this presentation, we're going to look at the chi-square test, the version of SPSS we're using is version 19, and it is chi-sq1.save is the name of the file. Now, this file contains the details of 150 students. The gender, 75 male, 75 female, picked for simplicity, that we have 50-50 each. We have 60 business students, we have 50 computer science students, and we have 40 engineering students. So let's bring that up. Here we go. So this is the data set here, the student number, the degree, and the gender. Now what we're going to do is carry out a chi-square test. And the idea of a chi-square test is to sort of see is there any uh, relationship between the degree choice and the gender. So under the null hypothesis, there's no relationship between gender and degree program that a boy and a girl are as equally likely to go into each degree program. So they should have a 50-50 split each. The alternative hypothesis is that uh, one gender, one uh, boys might uh, favor one type of uh, course uh, and girls might favor another type of course and that some degrees courses are more favored by um, one particular gender as a result and some courses might get dominated by uh, one gender as a result. So we reject this null hypothesis if there's a significance value close to zero otherwise we fail to reject the null hypothesis. Now let's perform this test. So we go to analyze, we go to descriptive statistics and we go here to cross tab. So this is cross tabulation. I'm going to click on that. Now, uh, I have two uh, categorical variables here, degree and gender. Now it doesn't really matter which way I put them in, so I'll just put them in like that. So, the let's have a look at the options. Exact, there's nothing there that I'm going to talk about now. Chi-square to test statistic, we're going to select that. Uh, what we will also do to continue that is look uh, look at the expected um, percentage or the expected uh, count under the null hypothesis. Now previously I've said that under the null hypothesis that we should expect 50-50 uh, equal number of males and females so we should expect 30, 25 and 20 respectively uh, of each sex in each class. So we could also add in percentages here. I'm only going to put in the column per, uh, row percentage but we could put in more but uh, if you put in more it the output just gets very cluttered so I'm just going to put in row percentage. Uh, we're going to continue that and we're going to leave format so let's click OK. So. This tells us how many valid cases we have. We have 150 valid cases. That's great. So here, first off, is our cross tabulation. Now, first off, the business group. Uh, as I said before, there's 60 in the class, and under the null hypothesis, we expect to get 30 females and 30 males. What happened? What has happened is that we have 42 females and 18 males. So the class is 70% female and 30% male, rather than 50-50. Now the opposite case it happens here in computer science, that uh, we have 50 students altogether. Under the null, hi under the null hypothesis, we would expect 25 and 25, but indeed we only get 15 females and 35 males. So it, this is a 30-70 split, again rather than the 50-50 split we were expecting. Engineering, lastly, we have 40 students altogether, 18 are female, 22 are male. Now, in this case, expected counts here are 20 and 20. So in this particular case, engineering is um, quite close to the null hypothesis that uh, equal number of males and females. But we're talking about uh, the, the uh, hypothesis test, the chi-square test, deals with the entire student population, not just engineering. So it, yeah, we have to take into account the business and the computer science students as well. We don't get to look at the engineering in isolation. 
So let's go down here to the chi-square test. This is the Pearson square chi-square test we'll look at. So uh, under here we have a, a, a significance value that's quite close to zero. In this case, we reject the null hypothesis. There is a uh, some um, courses are uh, more favoured by boys. Some courses are more favoured by girls. That's pretty definitive. And so, and that is that is the end of the presentation.